the cold and the plenty, those who are looking for home, those who are looking for their tribe, those who have been looking on a journey of many hundreds of years, maybe centuries, heaving in their chests, can find maybe a taste of home among the singing, the dancing, the storytelling, the wood smoke, the many fires, the many temples, the many homings of the soul, those running towards their womanhood or manhood, those who are old enough to have seen something and be willing to bless because of what they have seen, and all of it expressed, not through logic, not through the sense-making that has destroyed the world, but through an exuberance of storytelling and music and magic, to wear a hat that's a little bit too big for you or a coat that's a bit too wild and an extravagance of language and words that makes something wholly leap onto your tongue. Do it through an exuberance of expression, through revealing of the self, through Kaylee, through dancing, through being together in that way that almost has the panache and boastful Celtic power of the vainglorious showing off of the Celts. But inside it has that great humility of that tear-driven pilgrimage towards the place that we lost. If you want to feel the grass between your toes, if you want to feel what it's like again to swim in a cold river, if you want to see your children play and swing on ropes and jump in water and laugh so the whole valley can hear it, if you want to see some really big mountains and you want to see a sky which is full of stars, there are buildings here made of canvas, of wood, that are painted with gold, which are built in a way where we only see them in fairy tales. You can dance in the dresses that you only dream about dancing and never have that place to be. It's here. It's here every moment. It's a place to remember who you are. And you can walk through that long grass. You can remember that child that used to sing and dance and not care you can come here and play and you can meet those people who you felt you've known for a hundred years and they're here to share all of this with you. It's just a fantastic place to discover yourself and to express yourself and express parts of yourself that you don't normally express or are unable to express because of the crippling fear of the big societal world. Here the pressure is just to be yourself and I've learned how to live well and how to give back and how to understand the innumerable debt that you owe the earth simply for existing. And it's not a shameful thing, but it's a, everything needs to be honored. It's an acknowledgement of there being something else greater than you. And when you're part of that, you feel more important, you feel expanded. I guess expansion is exploring life and learning about yourself. And this is a pretty good place to do. Being outdoors in nature throughout the day and the night being with other people and being free. It's easy to forget sometimes what you really enjoy. It's memories that you'll have forever and that's really special. It's eating from the same cauldron together at the end of summer before the dreaming of the autumn and winter. It's open to all generations. It's open to all broken hearts. It's open to all lovers because of your wild, shy, curious, longing soul that wonders if there is a welcome for who you really are for your most ancient roots, for you who are a wild, natural child of nature that loves to praise and sing and speak of how wonderful this world is and willing to breathe the breath of life.